Good morning everyone. With the advent of technology in today's corporate world, many people are working in organizations to achieve the predetermined goals by the organization. So people may be from different parts of the world or different areas or with different domains with individual differences. In this scenario, group dynamics play an important role in achieving the output. So today's corporate world wants all the expertise to be a group or to be a team. Team members are expected to have certain dynamics for the expected outcome. Let us discuss about the concept of group dynamics. So group dynamics is like starts with defining what is group. So group it is called like when two or more people who come together to achieve the common goals. So people are combined jointly working in order to achieve the common goals. So they have to interact and collaborate each other to accomplish the task which is defined. And it is the collection of people who interact with one another. And coming to the meaning of group dynamics, group dynamics is made up of two words, group and dynamics, whereas the word group means a collection of two or more individuals. And the word dynamics comes from a Greek word meaning force. So therefore, group dynamics is basic language refers to the study of forces operating within a group. So group dynamics deals with the attitudes and behavior patterns of a group. So it can be used as a means for problem solving, teamwork and to become more innovative and productive as an organization. The social process by which people interact and behave in a group environment is called as group dynamics. So group dynamics involves the influence of personality, power and behavior on the group process. So that is the reason like uh, organization uh, uh, insists uh, to uh, uh, achieve the works and those are all shared among members so that they can commonly solve and work together to get the productivity and desired outcome. So dynamics means already we have discussed as it is a force or it can be called as a properties which stimulate the growth. So the way in which people in a group interact with each other, it deals with the attitudes and behavioral patterns of a group. So the term group dynamics means the study of forces within the group. Since human beings have an initiate and innate desire for belonging to a group, group dynamics and group dynamism is bound to occur. In an organization or in a society, we can see groups, small groups or large groups working for the well-being. The social process by which people interact with one another in small groups can be called group dynamism. A group has certain common objectives and goals. So because of which members are bound together with certain values and culture. Group dynamics refers to the change changes that may occur in any part of the group and bring out actions and reactions in the group structure that affects group members. Uh, this is defined by Kurt Levin. According to him, uh, like it, it focuses on development and changes which are required uh, to bring the necessary outcomes. And when dynamics are positive, definitely the group works will work together and they'll work properly and get the desired outcome. So when the dynamics are poor, the group's effectiveness is completely reduced and it affects the uh, productivity of the organization and the performance of the individuals in the group. And coming to the characteristics, let us uh, uh, discuss about the characteristics of group dynamics. And group dynamics describes how a group should be organized and operated. So this includes pattern of leadership and cooperation. Without the coordination and cooperation, without the uh, uh, leadership uh, focus, uh, groups can never survive in a better way. So it consists of a set of techniques such as role playing, brainstorming, uh, can, be, can be incorporated to make the groups strengthen. And it deals with internal nature of groups their formation, structure and process and the way they affect individual members, other groups and the entire organization as a whole. And here is the importance of group dynamics. So the importance of group dynamics focuses on promoting 
the feeling of belongingness among the group members without feeling belongingness they can never work properly and it also ensures a lower turnover turnover in the sense employee leaving the organization because when they have emotional attachment towards the group they feel uh, uh, to continue with the same group and exist in the same company so group dynamism helps in increasing the motivation level of the employees and the group can influence the thinking of its members if the group is highly strong strongly focusing then they exchange the knowledge and their thinking skills enhances so a group with a good leader performs better and a group with positive thinkers perform more better and group dynamics can give job or work satisfaction to the members groups can also bring team spirit among the members if people who are not uh, um, enthusiastic and other team members who are uh, uh, good at mingling with people they they come closer and they try to resolve their own problems and they get motivated and the team spirit increases and uh, they become more strong and the attitude perception and ideas of members depend on the group dynamism and it ensures a lower turnover as we have discussed earlier because of which you find less uh, uh, turnover ratio and group dynamism helps in motivating the employees the group provides a huge opportunity for learning because a group is consisting of members who are masters in different skills so that they can exchange or transfer the knowledge and enhance their competencies for increasing the skill inventory so now let us discuss about the principles of the group dyna- group dynamics so principles of group dynamics include principle of belongingness so a good sense of belongingness must exist uh, or develop in the members of the group so that they become more strong and p- principle of perception changes can be implemented in the group by creating a common perception in the minds of the members regarding the needs for change so uh, it is it is very much required uh, to have common perception so uh, group can be focus uh, can focus on uh, uh, creating a common perception in the minds of members so whatever may be the uh, change they have to focus on changing the things so when they have common perception definitely change can be implemented in a positive manner and principle of conformity so when continuous efforts are made in the direction of removing individual subparts of the group it may result in a conformity to the norms of the group so this is also very important and principle of change all the relevant information concerning the need plan strategy and outcomes of change has to be shared among the group members so that they can work they can focus and they can achieve commonly so change is required because without change Uh, they can never develop so when they want to achieve the outcome definitely they have to plan properly and change in a better way and the next principle is principle of readjustment and changes in a particular part of the group is likely to create stress in the other parts so which can be reduced either by reversing the change or introducing readjustments in the related parts so they can adjust by readjustment so that they can be accommodated comfortably and they can avoid stress and principle of common motives a group is formed and operated because of common and shared motives they'll have a common focus point to be achieved so uh, they all work together and the next is principle of power so the higher the level of the group to its members the higher will be the influence which can be exercised on its members so continuous process principle uh, this is another one where every member who is a part of a certain group is responsible for its continuous operation so that they must ensure that the activities and tasks assigned to the group are performed uninterruptedly and the next is group orientation principle the survival of a group is ensured by placing the members into a operational hierarchy and a goal oriented action so it deals with the constantly changing 
and uh, going for uh, achieving the goals which are predetermined and seeking an action. So, to convey in a better way, uh, these principles deal with the co consistently changing and adjusting relationship that exists among the group members. So, it encompasses all these factors like uh, all those affecting actions, processes and changes that take place within and between groups over a period of time. So, this is another concept which is uh, the Tuckman team model. So, Tuckman stages of group development was proposed by psychologist Bruce Tuckman in 1965 and it is one of the most famous theories of team development. So, it describes five stages that teams may progress through forming, storming, norming and performing and adjourning. So, now let us uh, discuss each uh, uh, stage. So, forming is the first stage of team forming. So, whenever a new team is uh, in forming process, members have confusion and doubts because they will be new to enter into the, they are new to enter and they, um, they do not know like how the members will be and what is the team's purpose and how they will be fit in and uh, whether they will work well with one another, whether they can coordinate each other. All these uh, doubts and uh, confusion arises within the members who are uh, uh, like while uh, taking part with the formation of the team. And they will be more anxious, curious or excited to get uh, going looking to the team leader for direction. So he will be always conscious and they, uh, they, they may be excited to um, uh, look at the team leader for uh, giving some direction how to do the work and what are the roles and responsibilities that are given as a team member uh, and this may take some time because people at the initial stage may not get prepared. So initial clutches will be there but uh, then uh, this may take some time as people uh, get to know their uh, new colleagues and one another's way of working. So this, this is the formation and the next stage uh, speaks about the storming stage. So, storming, storming is the second stage and where it identifies some team conflict. So, members start to communicate their feelings but view themselves as an individual rather than part of a team. Because they are at the initial stage, uh, they have joined the team um, uh, uh, and uh, they, they might not be uh, ready to uh, get collaborated with the team members and uh, members start to push against the established boundaries. Uh, so, conflict can arise between team members as their way of working is different while completing for designed as assignments and outcomes. If they are new to a project and if the members are not known each other, so they, they may have uh, uh, a kind of uh, conflict with the work, work as well as with the working uh, team members. So, roles and responsibilities are not yet clear and may feel workload and frustration due to lack of progress because they they will not have any clarity about the work what is to be done and what is the role that are, they are given and what are the responsibilities that are to be taken. So they will be more in a frustration uh, at this uh, stage and the next stage speaks about norming and which is the third stage and they this stage speaks about team settlement and members feel part of team and they appreciate each other and exchange ideas to achieve goal. So they, they settle down little bit uh, and they accommodate themselves with the other team members and they try to focus in exchanging the ideas for uh, achieving the goals. And they start to resolve their differences and started, they start giving respect to authority as a leader. And now they know each other better, feel more comfortable asking for help and offering constructive feedback. And they will have a stronger commitment to the team goals. So they will now they will be focusing because they are all uh, joined and the team has become strong. And now they will be focusing on uh, making uh, the work more effective and enhancing their performances. Because they uh, try to settle 
uh, in the team and uh, uh, focuses on exchanging the ideas for the achievement of the goals. So they'll have a stronger commitment here. And the next stage speaks about performing, which is the fourth stage, and they uh, focus on uh, achieving the performance. So it is called as team performance, and team is in flow and performing to its full potential. So team is doing hard work, continuous development with structured process to become effective and achieve its goal, goals effectively. So members taking on various roles and responsibilities as needed. So they demonstrate collectively and if differences among members are appreciated and use it to enhance the team's performance. They purely focus on developing themselves as, a, uh, as an individual and also as a part of a team and they enhance their performance for the achievement of the goals. So and after the performance, the final stage which is fifth stage is adjourning. So dissolution of group and teams reach this stage naturally. Once the task is accomplished, one, once they successfully complete the projects and recognize the members' contributions, uh, then teams are disappeared and dispersed and people will be redeployed to, the, uh, to their actual positions. And people who like routine or who have developed close working relationships with colleagues may find it uh, uh, difficult to be aparted from them because uh, uh, they get accommodated with the uh, friends and uh, they have got strong feelings so while adjourning they may feel uh, difficult to apart from the teams and now let us discuss about the benefits uh, uh, like uh, benefits of go good group dynamics so a good team dynamics uh, is also primitive uh, environment for innovation, creativity uh, and it's the meaning that teams can best serve their customers. So strong team dynamics ensure that everyone is working to their fullest potential and when everyone is dedicated to functioning at their best, the results are naturally going to be of higher quality. So a solid team dynamic dynamics make every member feel supported to perform better than every one at ev than ever have had before. So effective team dynamics in workplace benefits the companies towards achieving good results. And a strong team dynamics produce higher quality results and solve problems faster. Companies must have the right people in right roles and they should focus on sharing a, uh, uh, or focus on sharing and understanding the common vision. So it is essential that companies must clearly define the purpose to the employees as they know about, uh, as they very much know about the company's vision, mission and values. So it is better to discuss uh, with the teams about the specific goals that they need to meet or achieve and to have more clarity on what they have to focus on. So focus on team members strengthens more by building the teams uh, and it is essential to match their competencies for accomplishing the jobs and creating a strong team can be a challenging but few skills are more valuable than the ability to put together and successfully direct a team no doubt that groups uh, and group dynamics play a vital role in achieving higher results uh, uh, as an individual, they may not achieve better, but as a group player, as a group member, group dynamics has got predominance in today's world. There are several examples like uh, which speaks about the importance of uh, um, team or group dynamics. So Google's artificial intelligence research team is one of the best examples of a dynamic team in 2023. Uh, which is Google's AI research team. So this team is made up of experts in artificial intelligence, machine learning and related fields from all around the world. They work together to develop cutting edge algorithms and technologies that are shaping the future of artificial intelligence. The team's success is due in large part to their collaborative approach. They work together on projects, share ideas and constantly push 
each other to innovate another example is uh, like uh, example of a dynamic team is tesla's product development team so this team is responsible for designing and developing the company's electric vehicles solar products and energy storage systems the team is made up of engineers designers and other experts who work together to create products that are not only innovative but also sustainable the team's success is due to their ability to collaborate across different departments and work towards a common goal and one more example is like uh, basecamp is a project management software company that has been fully remote since its inception the company's team is spread out across different countries and time zones but they still manage to work together effectively so this is due to uh, like large part of the company's focus is on communication they use a variety of tools including video conferencing instant messaging and project management software in order to keep everyone connected and on the same page so it is clearly uh, said that many of the organizations are getting advantage out of group dynamics so thank all everyone for giving me this opportunity thank you very much